Good morning, folks. We're coming to you a bit later today, so hopefully you had a chance to watch the video we posted yesterday, an update to the Sun and Earthquakes Challenge to the USGS and Jeffrey Love. New information is always good. Anyway, the filaments have finally departed and the solar flaring has bent again to the Earth facing quiet. It's going to be a fun day anyway, though. Let's begin over at spaceweathernews.com and find that calm Earth facing disk. Large coronal hole set its stream our way days ago, and it's getting here now, but in terms of energetic inflow, the X-ray flux shows no solar flares. The incoming spots don't seem inspired to fight the Earth facing quiet after what they saw yesterday, not even a charge upward. But the solar wind is a much different story. The coronal hole stream impacted and speed ramped up driving geomagnetic storms at low levels this morning. Eyes on this today though as it could develop more, Karuna showing the solid whack. You're going to be able to see the next coronal hole coming in down south on the left. The big guy departing up north not only got its stream to Earth, but as it leaves, the quake watch drops off. Yesterday's peak in six pointers is over and we're coming back down to smaller quakes like this one well north in the Atlantic. Top stories today include this out of Spain. Turns out that Earth is relatively dry for a habitable world and the majority of them, most life-giving planets, will be total water worlds. Unquestionably, however, the more interesting news is a new planet in our solar system. For those who have seen me caution you against such claims, this is not like when they found gravitational disturbances in Neptune's orbit and said they had discovered a planet they just hadn't actually seen it, didn't know where it was or how big it was, etc. This time, they actually saw it. That's worth a hundred of those modeled planet hypotheses in my book, and while they think it's about 700 kilometers across, it could be smaller and shiny, like ice, or much, much larger and somewhat dull. It's coming into perihelion next century. Bit of weather, folks. Thought I'd spark some jealousy in the areas taking heat waves right now. That's the U.S. Rocky Mountains, and it's the higher mountain areas to be sure, but still a very pleasant sight to see in July. Not so pleasant is what the atmosphere is tossing back east every sundown. Tornadoes, hail, flash floods, eyes on your local forecast folks, the weather is getting rough. Like I mentioned earlier, we had an update video yesterday and we would really appreciate your viewing, sharing, etc. It's also been a fun electric two weeks over at suspiciousobservers.org with the fly on the walls and deeper looks. Catch up if you need to. We've got some of those weather warnings for tonight here on the wind map. Also got shots of our star to close. It's just about 5 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Hey, <laughs>